Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope everyone of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any misses. Also, I would request request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so before we start with today's discussion please allow me to mention about an offer that will reduce your capital requirements for trading various segments like the NSE futures and the MCX futures Okay, talking about the NSE features, you can trade contracts like Nifty, Bank Nifty, SGX Nifty, etc. with just 6,000 rupees for one lot. Whereas in MCX, you can trade one lot of crude oil, copper, natural gas, etc. for just 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. Okay, for gold and silver, it will cost you around 10,000 rupees per lot. And not only this, you will be happily surprised when you get to know the other features that are being offered. I can't give you all the details here as there are many, but I will surely share all the details post you get in touch with me. In today's scenario, if you want to trade one lot of crude oil, you need to have a minimum of 1.6 lakhs as your capital. That is 1 lakh 60,000. Similarly, for Nifty, for just one lot, you need to have at least 1 lakh as your capital. Now replace 1.6 lakhs with 4,000 to 6,000 rupees and 1 lakh with 6,000 rupees. It does make a lot of difference to a retail trader like you and me, right? So that's the help I want to extend or offer. And if you are interested, then you can get in touch with me on the details that are being shown on the screen and we can take it forward. All right, so this is going to be quick. So a quick video regarding the stocks that have formed the inside bar pattern on the charts. Okay, so let me get on to the slide. So these are the stocks that have formed the inside bar pattern and the trade type that can be taken up can be an intraday trade as well as a swing trade. Okay, and the date on which these stocks can be traded is the immediate next trading session that is tomorrow. Okay, and moving on. To how to trade the inside bar chart pattern. Let me first explain what an inside bar chart pattern is. Okay, inside bar chart pattern is a simple yet a very powerful chart pattern that can be traded in intraday as well as in swing trading. Okay, as the name refers, an inside bar pattern is created when the high and the low of the latest candlestick remains within the high and the low of the previous candlestick. In other words, the latest candlestick is smaller and remains within the high to low range of the previous or prior candlestick. Okay, it is it is a two bar price action trading strategy as simple as that. Okay, now coming on to how to trade this chart pattern for the buy trades, initiate a buy trade when the high of the inside bar is breached. Stop loss will be few points lower then the low of the inside bar target will be 1% of the script price from your entry point and please remember please make sure to be flexible while booking the profits okay and for the sell trades initiate a sell trade when the low of the inside bar is breached stop loss will be few points higher than the high of the inside bar target will be 1% of the script price from your entry point Again, please make sure to be flexible while booking your profits. Okay, a pretty simple trading strategy that can be traded by anyone, but please make sure that uh, you should be trading it wisely only when the trigger is met. And when I say trigger, I mean the price points. Okay, if I'm saying that you have to take up a buy trade when the high of the inside bar is breached, 
So let's take for example the high of the inside bar is sitting at around 500 rupees. So you have to wait for the 500 rupees price point to be breached and only after that you initiate a buy trade. It should not be the case that you see that on the charts uh, the price point is 499.90. So you assume that 500 will be touched and you initiate a buy trade. That should not be the case. If I say 500, it has to be 500. As simple as that. Okay, so that's it from my end, guys. Uh, I hope you all would be having a great evening. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.